Today, we're taking a journey back in time, to explore the birth of our solar system. Our solar system contains the Sun, inner rocky planets, the gas giants or the outer planets, and other celestial bodies. But how they all formed is something that scientists have debated over time. So, how did the solar system form, and end up with all these different types of objects? Currently the best theory explaining this is, the solar nebula theory. A French scholar, Marquis de Laplace, proposed the theory in 1796, stating that solar systems originate from vast clouds of gas and dust, known as solar nebula, within interstellar space. Imagine a massive cosmic cloud, mostly hydrogen and helium, like a dusty, swirling space pancake. This is the solar nebula, and it is our story's starting point. One day, a nearby star explodes, sending shock waves rippling through the pancake. This cosmic shakeup makes the cloud spin faster and become denser. Gravity pulls everything towards the center, creating a hot, dense core, where a protostar is born. A protostar is an object in which, no nuclear fusion has occurred, unlike a star, that is undergoing nuclear fusion. When nuclear fusion begins, this protostar becomes a star, and in our case, it becomes the sun. Around it, a swirling disk of leftover dust and gas forms, like a celestial pizza. Think of this as the early solar system. This contains all the ingredients for formation of planets. Now, gravity plays its part, clumping up the pizza toppings, into messy cosmic dough balls called, protoplanets. Closer to the hot sun, the heat cooks away lighter elements, leaving behind heavy rocks, and that's how Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars formed. These four are known as the inner planets. Further out, where it is cooler, ice-like water sticks around, building giant dough balls filled with gas and ice. In this way, Jupiter and Saturn are born. Neptune and Uranus grab even more icy materials, becoming the frozen giants of the outer solar system. But it's not all smooth sailing. These dough balls bump and crash, changing shapes and leaving scars. Asteroids and comets, like leftover crumbs of the pizza, bombard the planets, creating craters, and adding to the chaos. Finally, after billions of years of cosmic baking, our solar system takes shape, with a family of planets, moons, and asteroids, each with its own unique story. The orderly motions of the solar system today, are a direct result of the solar system's beginnings, in a spinning, flattened cloud of gas and dust. The solar nebula theory is not perfectly accurate, and newer findings refine it. The theory explains the general formation process, but specific details, about individual planets development, remain under investigation. Studying the solar nebula theory, helps us understand our place in the universe, and how other planetary systems might form. The solar nebula theory, enjoys a strong support from a variety of lines of evidence, as mentioned here. You can pause this video and go through the details. That, in a nutshell, is the solar nebula theory. It's like a cosmic recipe, with gravity, temperature, and a dash of collisions, that cooks up our amazing solar system.